Okay, in this video, we are doing Calc AB problem set 60. The problems and playlist are in the description below. Uh, let's do it. Given the function f of x equals ax plus b all over the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 1. That's kind of gross. If f of x has a relative maximum at 4, 1, find a and b. Okay, oof. Um, this, if you've been doing all the problem sets, this, this feels to me like that, um, the one where we just recently did, like find a, b, c, and d. There's always like secret information and explicit information. First piece of information that I see is that the point four one is on this function. So I should say that, right? Like if I plug in four, I'm gonna get one. So I'm gonna do that. One is equal to four uh, a plus b over four minus three is one, four plus one is five, which means we get one equation out of that. Um, four a plus b is equal to five. Good, we're almost there. All right, the other thing we know is that there's a relative maximum there, which means the value of the derivative at four should be equal to zero. That's useful, but first we have to find the derivative, and it's kind of gross because of the denominator. So uh, here it goes. We're gonna do uh, bottom, which is like this product. Derivative of the top is just a, which is nice, minus top, which is quantity ax plus b, derivative of the bottom. <coughs> Hmm. Excuse me. All right. To find the derivative of the bottom, I'm going to like expand the bottom. So I'll get, oh my God, I apologize. Hold on. Let me drink some water. All right. Maybe that's better. doesn't feel better, but we'll see. So I'm going to expand the bottom in my head and get um, x squared minus 2x minus 3. The derivative of x squared minus 2x minus 3 is 2x minus 2. So this is the derivative of the bottom. And then all over the denominator squared. Um, so now we said if we plug in 4, we have to get 0 because there's a relative maximum. It could have just said uh, relative extremum. And honestly, I'm not going to check if this is a max or a min. So like maybe it should have just said relative extremum. I probably checked that when I made the problem, but like I wouldn't put money on it. Uh, so I'm going to plug in 4 and set it equal to 0. So that's going to give us... Um, that's gonna give us, uh, here it goes, zero is, uh, we get a one, we get a five, and then a. Then we're gonna get uh, four a plus b, and then we're gonna have a six, because remember, x is four, and then the denominator just works out to five, and then we have to square it, so 25. This gives us another equation. Uh, it is gonna have uh, 5a and then minus 24a minus 6b. The 25 in the denominator crosses over and times zero is just zero. Clean this up a little bit and kind of like move everything to the left. So I'm gonna get 19a plus 6b is equal to zero, which is great because now we have two equations in two unknowns and we can try to solve the system. So we have 4a plus b is equal to five and we also have 19a plus 6b is equal to zero. I'm going to multiply the top by 6, and then I will subtract the bottom from the top. So I'm going to have 24a minus 19a is 5a. The b should cancel. We have 30 minus 0 is 30. So we know that a is 6, which is good. And then uh, we know 4a plus b is 5. And if a is 6, then that's really 24 plus b is equal to 5, which means b is negative 19. So that's our answer. A is 6, B is negative 19. If that happens, we will have met the conditions. Good problem. A lot of, a lot of steps. <laughs> All right, next up. Evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of... So this does not look like the definition of the derivative to me. Natural log of x plus 1 minus arctan of x over e to the x minus cosine of x. So we need to know a couple of things to like really do this. Primarily, we're going to try to let x be 0. And if x is 0, we need to know the natural log of 1 is 0. And we need to know that arctan of zero is also zero. That's important because that's we're going to use that to evaluate this. So that means that the numerator, when I just sub in, gives me zero, right? I get zero minus zero. The denominator, when I sub in, gives me one minus one because the cosine of zero is one, um, which is also zero. So this is a L'Hopital's problem. Um, if it wasn't L'Hopital's, it would probably be direct substitution. would basically be done. So I'm going to start off my L'Hopital's thing where I'm going to show... The limit of the numerator equals the limit of the denominator equals zero. I'm setting up being allowed to do it. You can't just write equals zero over zero, which uh, you used to be allowed to. And if you watch my really old videos, I did that a lot because it, those were the rules and then they changed the rules. Um, who says math is, uh, is never changing? 
All right, so therefore by L'Hopital's rule, the original limit is equal to, the limit is x bar to zero, we need our derivatives, right? Derivative of natural log is one over x plus one, arctan is one over one plus x squared, e to the x is e to the x, cosine is negative sine, but it's minus cosine, so we get plus sine. So just four derivatives, um, derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, uh, now we have to sub in zero, and in the numerator, we actually just get uh, one minus one. So uh, since the denominator is not zero, we've gotten zero as our answer, which I always find dissatisfying to put a lot of work in, and then the answer is quote unquote just zero. But uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with zero being an answer. If I had to guess a limit, I would always guess zero, then one, then e, or e to some power if I could try to figure out the power. Those are like my four guessing techniques. Otherwise, and preferably, I just do the limit. All right, new problem. Um, the acceleration of a particle is given by a of t equals 2t minus 3. Velocity at t equals 0 is 5. Position at t equals 0 is 2. Find the position at t equals 1, which is called x of 1. All right, so we're going backwards, right? We're going to go from acceleration to velocity. I'm going to do plus 1 times the reciprocal. So uh, v of t, we're going to get 2 times 1 half t squared is t squared. And then where does negative 3 come from? It comes from negative 3t. So I just put a t in there and multiply by t. Technically, you can think of it as t to the 0, and then you add 1 to 0, you get 1. The reciprocal is 1, so you get negative 3 times t to the first, uh, however you want to do it. And then we put the plus c because the derivative of a constant is always 0. If I took the derivative of this v of t, I would definitely get the a of t that was given. So we're on the right track. Now we need to solve for c. Well, t uh, at t equals 0, velocity is 5 which just means that c is equal to 5. Um, and you see that step a lot. It looks weird, but like you don't have to belabor it. We know that that's going to happen. So our velocity is actually t squared minus 3t plus 5. We have to go now from velocity to position. So again, we're just reversing the power rule. So we're doing plus 1 times the reciprocal. x of t is going to be 1 third t cubed. And then we have negative 3 times 1 half. So negative 3 halves t squared, and then a 5t. And then remember, there could have been a constant that we take a derivative of, which would give us zero. If I take the derivative of this x of t, I get v of t. So again, we're on the right path. You can always check that. Um, when, you, when you try to reverse the power rule, then just use the power rule and see if it cancels out. And if it does, you did it right. If it doesn't, you obviously need to check something. All right, let's solve for this c. Uh, when t is zero, position is two. So again, it's an easy solve. You kind of hope for that. When the initial condition is at zero, it's always the best. Um, or something that makes things zero, always the best. All right, so our actual position is this, but we were asked to find x of one. So we're just gonna take one and plug it in now. This gives us one third minus three halves plus five plus two. Um, and then if we simplify that, I think we get 35 over six for our final answer. And that's the end of the problem set. I hope this was helpful and good luck.